Hey guys, welcome to the Tiger Tech video review of the all new HTC Surround 7 Windows Phone 7. If you want to see an unboxing or comparison of this device, make sure you head over to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and do so. So let's go ahead with the review. So the Surround 7 is an offering from HTC. It has a surround sound, virtual surround sound speakers. And it runs the all new Windows Phone 7 operating system made by Microsoft. It also has a kickstand. If you want an exterior detail of the phone, make sure you check out the unboxing. I go through everything. So here at the back, we have a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. It can do 720p HD video recording. I would say it's not that great in comparison to the iPhone or even the all new Samsung Focus Windows Phone 7, which has a much better camera and much resolution display as well. Never mind the focus for now. The surround does feel a bit bulky and the battery is very disappointing as well. It has a 1300 milliamp battery. From using the phone for over two weeks, I couldn't go a day without replacing the battery or looking for a charger. The surround has a 3.8 inch capacitor touchscreen which has a pixel density of 480 by 800 just like the Nexus One and other Android devices from HTC. And also just like the other Android devices and the other phones that use these screens, it's very good indoors in terms of the lighting, the vibrantness of the display itself. But outdoors in glare, direct sunlight is not that great. You would have to sometimes cover the screen or increase the brightness to its full potential. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the OS itself, but I will be talking about some differentiating factors that HTC brings to Windows Phone 7, like the HTC Hub and other applications. But before I do that, let's talk about the hardware for a bit. The phone does feel a bit heavy. It weighs in about 5 ounces, but it does have a nice business class look to it. I really love how HTC makes their phones. The design team is, has proven that they can make solid hardware. And the standout feature of the phone is the slide out speaker and the mechanism feels very solid as well, very robust. Even the kickstand feels robust as well. Well, it can be, it can be broken, but it'll take a beating at least. Now let's go ahead and test out the main functionality behind the surround, the virtual surround Dolby Digital. It's actually a bit of a gimmick. I'll show you guys. An example let's go ahead to my YouTube channel so one thing with Windows Phone 7 operating system is that they don't have their own YouTube client for example they do have the application but it actually brings you to the YouTube mobile page which is a really bummer I don't know why they would do that Go to my videos. Wow, I have 64 videos now. And um, we'll take a look at one of the videos. Take a look at the LG Optimus 7 video, which is another Windows Phone 7 device. I don't know if the mic on the camera will capture this, but... So here we have, I think, the surround sound activated. Oh, well, no, it wasn't activated at that moment, but now it's activated, and here's the difference. It does have a little different to it, yeah. You can really um, hear the difference if you click on the virtual surround. But just because it's so quiet here, I don't know if you guys can hear this. It does make a little difference, obviously, just because of the thickness, but instead of having the surround speaker, I would trade this in for a for a keyboard, or if even if HTC in the next surround makes the surround speaker slide out this way and a slide out keyboard the other way, that would be my permanent phone. That would be loving. Like, that would be the ultimate form factor, actually. It's just because you can put the speakers on and have conference calls. Even though this speaker doesn't really do well with conference calls, I've had numerous complaints whenever I put on speaker that it's very staticky and they can hear the background. Well, someone's calling. 
Sorry about that guys, I really hate it when people call me and interrupt when I make a video but you can't blame them, they don't know. So as I said, let's take a look at the unique applications that HTC brings to the surround and other Windows Phone 7 devices made by HTC. For example, the HTC Hub, which is similar to Sense UI on Android, but it's actually a hub instead of taking over the whole front screen of the device. So here we have some feature apps that HTC has built in. Oops, I accidentally click on that. And then now if you click on the the weather widget, it would show you different weathers and it gives you cool animations. I really like the animation, especially the raining one. And you can have up to, I think it's about 10 animations that it, they put in for like snowing, raining, thunderstorm, when it's windy, different animations. And now I'm just scrolling through different parts of the world that you can preset. For example, it's in Tokyo, it's 11 degrees. So that's just a quick look at the hub interface. Now let's go back. We also have a photo enhancer. This is also unique to the surround and other HTC devices. So this is another app made by HTC. And also sound enhancer, which lets you play around with the sound a bit. Doesn't really make any difference actually. I don't know. I don't I'm not a big fan of the sound on the surround just because it it is better than your standard phones, but for just having the speaker itself and the bulkiness of the phone not that worth it to be honest with you I can live without the surround sound or the virtual surround so just like other Windows Phone 7 devices we do have you know all the applications in the hubs so we have the people hub so we can scroll through and it gives you Facebook feeds as well and there's the picture hub over here which can you can scroll through Facebook pictures so just the pictures come up and let's go ahead and take a look at the browser Windows Phone 7 the OS itself is really nice especially the Metro UI it has a different feel in terms of the operating system just the transitions and stuff and how you get through the phones but it does have some setbacks like copy and paste and stuff which are on its way here's my website the tigertech.com you can double tap to zoom here we have the new Nexus S which I made a blog post about it one thing that I noticed on the mobile Internet Explorer is that it does not feature any YouTube videos for example if this was on an iPhone or an Android phone you can actually see and you can click on the video and it will take you to the YouTube application this does not recognize that which is a really bummer it's asking you for flash and as you notice already it doesn't have flash so let's visit another website let's go to ngadget.com I don't want to make this video too long so it takes you to the mobile browser but you can obviously set that to go to the regular browser as well one other application that HTC brings is the notes application which is very good looking and is very useful as well so here we go we can take out a post-it note we could rotate it or we can click on this and we could just say testing the keyboard is interactive it gives you predictive tests as you can predictive text as you can see I'm just typing some random stuff but I would say that the keyboard is on par or even better for my my taste than the iPhone 4 and you can move this postings around and you can also flip the board and go through it as a list as well let's just a quick look at the notes application that's also a unique application it only it's only available on the HTC devices my final thoughts on the surround is that it is a very media centric device as I said and it really does you know serve that purpose well the slide out speaker does have a cool form factor you know everywhere I go if I slide out the speaker and if I just leave it on the you know table or something people go wow yeah it does have that wow effect to it it's a unique form factor 
And if you're really into music and you want to take full potential of the Zoom Pass, the $15 Zoom Pass that comes with um, all the Windows Phone 7 devices, and if you're into me music and watching videos, the phone is very good. Some of the downsides to the phone is that the battery life is not that great, but I am a bit of a heavy user and I can't go a day without charging the phone. And the resolution of the screen is good, indoors is terrific but it's not the same as I said as the focus you know the glare effect and the high quality build of the phone is it is a good thing that HTC is going ahead with the industrial design and not making phones like that are too plasticky or cheap for example the focus as well so this is a quick you know review of the HTC Theron thank you for watching guys sorry if I rambled on with the review Thanks for watching and if you do like this video make sure you thumbs up and if you want more technology related videos make sure you head over to my channel the Tiger Tech